What's up guys this is Shubhra from Intellect Digest and today I am here with a laptop review. Today we have the HP NV14 J008TX laptop with me and today I am going to review this product for you and help you decide if you are going to buy this or not. So without any delay let's get started. The HP NV series has always been a brilliant combination of style and performance merged into a single device. It always has brought commendable hardware to the play and has always been stylish and sleek. Before going into the specs and all the meaty part, let's first observe and analyze this year's design profile that HP has incorporated in this year's NV series. To begin with, I must say the HP NV 2015 looks promising. With a simple and minimalistic approach, this NV is sturdy and looks premium. The lid and the keyboard are made out of aluminium whereas the bottom part is made out of plastic and hosts the ventilation grills. Also you will find two rubber strips that run along the bottom. And the best part is upon opening the lid completely there are two rubber feet which sort of raises the keyboard and the lower body. I like this feature because it does help with the proper airflow and provides the required tilt for typing and also the display remains steady and secure in one position. Beautifully crafted, the design feels rich feels really good and the overall build quality is also very good. There are speaker grills on top and on the bottom of the laptop. The touchpad is spaced and placed properly without eating too much space aligned correctly to the overall design profile. There is also a fingerprint reader that sits to the lower left of the keyboard. It also has good amount of ports. There are three USB 3.0 ports, one HDMI, one Ethernet jack and one mic and headphone combo jack. Its thin and sleek profile does not house a DVD drive but that is negligible nowadays. The laptop weighs around 2 kilograms which is acceptable. The display is also one of the best features of this laptop. To begin with, it is a 1080p 14 inch display. It has a matte finish and to be honest, I really search for this feature in most of the laptops because it helps prevent glare. Luckily the HP NV14 has it. The viewing angles are impressive and the saturation levels are also good. The text appears crisp and sharp and with Windows 10 on board, it only improves. Next, we move to the keyboard and touchpad. But first, I will move to the keyboard. HP has this chiclet style keyboard which is good. There is no flex while typing on this keyboard because of the aluminium base. And this only adds up to the good typing experience. On pressing each and every key, there is an audible click and they provide the right amount of resistance and key travel. This only makes the typing experience much more natural. The keys are placed well, but I guess the arrow keys could have been better. In my opinion, the size of the alt key could have been normal and the space could have been used for the top and the bottom arrow key sizes. The function keys are however a bit on the tricky side though. They are small and will take some time getting used to. The keyboard is also backlit but sadly the backlight is not adjustable. As I mentioned earlier, on the left palm wrist there is a fingerprint scanner and it is accurate most of the times. Now the large touch pad that HP shipped with this laptop has no buttons and has a similar aluminium finish which just blend in with the overall design of this device. The touch pad is not that bad but it could have been better. We did not record any misclicks of that sort but then also the touchpad although seemed to me as an area of improvement. With a 2.4GHz Intel Core i7, 5500U CPU, 12GB DDR3L RAM, 4GB DDR3 NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M and a 1TB HDD which can be exchanged if required with a custom SSD drive. This laptop is an all rounder when it comes to performance. It has a beefy spec sheet, it can handle any amount of multitasking thrown at it. We tested it with typing multiple documents, constant web browsing with 10 to 15 tabs open at times, playing high end games such as Assassin's Creed and I must say this laptop performs really well. Talking more about the gaming part, the graphics card handles most of the games at medium to high settings while delivering premium graphics experience. The CPU although is a dual core processor and is on the lower side, but it is no slow performer either. It handles everything quite impressively. I have been using this laptop for almost 3 weeks now and I haven't found any performance related issues. The battery backup is also good. HP is placed in a 3 cell battery and it powers the laptop for a normal 3.5 hours max at normal level. I do lots of video editing and this video that you are watching right now was edited on this laptop with battery mode on. The video rendering completed on battery and the level was 12%. The edit took me around 2 hours. So to just give you a perspective, if it can handle editing at that pace, then you can understand its capacity when it comes to general usage and browsing in normal office and productivity work. Bang & Olufsen is on board this year as HP's new audio partner. The speakers are good although sometimes I did find the audio to distort. It has 4 speakers and a subwoofer but then also the audio levels are somewhat not that good. Distortion as I said was also present on some occasions and I didn't expect that from HP. The audio software from Bang & Olufsen has standard settings and they don't work fully with headphones and external speakers. 
but on the positive side audio from headphones and external speakers are really good the hp nv14 2015 series laptop really looks promising and has almost all the characteristics of a very good all round device the design is really good while being simple and minimalistic and the display is one of the best features along with the brilliant spec sheet there is a perfect balance and does provide upgradeability if required the audio quality from the inbuilt speakers is a disappointment though the touchpad also requires some minimal refinements but if you ask me this is a very good laptop to consider if you are a casual gamer or a multimedia artist or if you want a sleek and thin laptop which is also high on performance so this was all for the HP NV 14 2015 series from me i hope you liked the video and the information did help you decide whether to buy or not buy this laptop if you like this video please hit the like button and if you want to see many more such videos from intellect digest please hit the red subscribe button i hope to see you in my next video again thank you for watching and have an awesome day ahead